Hello Zeta Eight and welcome back to Pesticide Not Required. At least the uh, release. So how to play? Plant seeds by walking over empty farming plots. Uh, let's say uh, skill in E or the scroll wheel to change the selected seeds from your inventory. Walk near thirsty plants to water them. The water count is visible at the top left of the screen. Walk over near a water well to refill it. Visit the merge end at the end of the day or at the end of each day to buy seeds and other goodies. Focus on buying weapon seeds. Buy weapon seeds in the shop and throw them. Harvesting multiple of the same weapon will level it up. Use movement direction to aim weapon. Or use thin stick controls. Aim with mouse, arrow keys, right stick. We'll see. Let's do fishing. Space level up. So crop test is down. Water capacity up. Investment shop prices when a weapon is harvested. Shop prices up. Coin gain is down. Oh, experience gain up. Give me experience gain. Of water. There goes our uh, experience. <laughs> we also level up. Is up what experience uh, gain is down. Crop growth uh, speed is up. Attack frequency up. Apple spawn is down. Crop growth speed is up. What capacity up? And apple spawn is down. They give me what the capacity. That's kind of a pain in the ass at the moment. Let's see. Max health. Move speed. And attack damage up. Oh, enemy spawn up. Going game, again, pick up range. I'll take the going game. Give me more money. Oh, experience again at the start of each day. I forgot we can also do mining. Let's see. <clears throat> so that's farming plots. Hay bale seeds. Send out an unstoppable hay bale in front of you that crushes enemies. Bomb seeds. Send out explosive bombs in alternating directions. Or boomerang seeds. Give me this. I want bombs. Now we do have enough money. Look time. These are worth the most. Just buy as many as I can and then exit. Enemy loot yield, attack frequency, damage watering range, spottering speed. Give 
Look at Luke healed. Not bad problems. Resistance up, crop speed, water capacity. Give me the Grove Amulet. And fast Grove on the uh, crops. I need to expand my uh, farm really soon. It actually takes a bit. Let's see. The golden retriever retrieves loot for you. What's that? And he is expensive. Crow bull. Place a scarecrow that explodes when an enemy walks on up to it. Bouncy balls. I'll take these. Oh, that's so expensive. And buy a few leaves. Level up. Don't keep. 1% damage per one plus 1 max health. Mine's on 30 damage. So it's based on your uh, health counter. I don't know how much health I have in total. Oh well, we'll see. The speed up uh, when the fish is caught. Fishing yield is up. Actually, give me experience, more experience gain. Enemy spawn up, of uh, apple spawn up. Boom speed, mining speed, fishing speed. Uh, fishing yield. Drop the yield down. Oh, give me damage. Oh, that thing's still alive. I'll take this. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah, they're actually more durable than I thought they would be. Damage and attack duration up. No bouncy. They can actually take a beating. Yeah, that's too many. Expand farm. Oak oil. Yo yo. Get the oil. That thing is expensive. Give me a lot of small seeds. We should be able to plant a bunch of these. And there's a boss. Yeah, 
Uh, give me a text size. Response, reactor speed, planning speed, planning speed, watering speed. Give me projectile speed. Yeah, we have our first boss and he's kind of hard to damage. I feel like we're really lacking on our uh, uh, weapons. Let's water everything. if you can there we go attack frequency and there was up I'll take this opening C toad oil bonglers I'll take toad oil Just buy a bunch of these seeds. Now we still need to kill this thing. I think the toad oil actually does a lot of damage. Oh, it's taking a bit to kill him. Apple healing, crop yield, health regen down, attack size up, attack duration, attack frequency. But less health, less regen. No, I'll take. More the uh, attack size. Fifty percent more damage. I'll take it. Attack frequency effectiveness to future attack frequency changes down. Crop growth, watering speed, crop yield is down. I don't think I care for that. I can't really reach the field. And that's that. Chest. Oh, what is plans for you? Fertilizes crops, increasing yield by 30%. Give me a cow. Attack size, knockback, attack duration, damage up. Also an amount. Give me way bigger areas. Next size when an ore is mined. I'll take it. Last, damage up, crop growth speed, an enemy spawn up. Actually, I'll take this because that's uh, if we get more enemies, we get more money. Lop, long reach, attack size, pickup range, watering range. Bara. Applies fast growth to crops, making them grow faster. Oh, I'll take this. Very dense seeds. Orbits around while moving further away and then back inwards. I'll take this. Max seeds.
accurately to see uh, projectile speed, damage, no, give me damage and size. Round crit chance, attack speed to see knockback. I'll take it. Testing ritual. Damage up, attack size up, crop yield up. Minus 25 uh, health. Effectiveness to future max health changes. Is down with 100%. Ew. Oh, so that all kind of locks your health, doesn't it? That might be bad. Oh well, we'll take it. I shouldn't be able to uh, get any health uh, increases. Because of that. Spidey boss. See if it melts. Let's see. Drop speed. Back at frequency. Get damage, crit chance. Put the attack size down. A bit jealous. Very careful not to kill myself. Let's see bouncy ball, toad oil, the bouncy balls. And buy as many seeds as I can. Orb, knockback at attack frequency up, pushing yield and damage up. Yeah, give me damage orb. And seeds for you, what is plans for you? Give me what is plans for you. That makes it so I don't need to be at the farm, I can just pick stuff up. And then plant them once in a while. I think the bouncy balls help a lot. Let's see, Rito's on level up. Don't really use it. Give me more coin gain. That, make, that one actually makes you way stronger. Crop growth speed during the day, enemy damage during the night is up. Just to gain an additional pet whenever recruiting one. Oh, I'll take this. Plus two amounts. Big amount is better than anything else. Water capacity, crop growth speed, nope. Attack frequency, watering speed. Do the uh, crit chance. <laughs> and give me greed. More coins. All switched. Give me experience gain up. Give me more bouncy balls. We're getting a lot of money. these then buy as many as, as I can on those so this should up my farm by a bunch 
Oh, this might be better. Bouncy balls with crit uh, chance. chance. I think it's growing too fast. <laughs> Even better. Back in this to future fishing yield, fishing spawns up. Enemy damage down. Also my damage is down. Resistance crit chance, fishing speed down. Oh, give me tackle box. I'm dying. I was literally dying. He hurts. There's again additional pets. Oh, four amounts. Hell yeah, max level. Feelings gain, coin gain, hunger speed down. Also give me a lot of money. We need a cow. Long last, bomb seeds, fairy dance. I'll take fairy dance first. Buy a bunch of seeds. The elephants should grow everything. So give me chest. Ooh. Give me get damages enemies. Lightning. Please gain but coin gain is down. This spawns or spawns. Apple spawns down. Enemy spawns is up and crop grow speed is down. I'll actually take this because uh, I don't think crop grow speed matters that much anymore. Regen, resistance down, max health up. Actually, that doesn't function probably. Attack frequency, watering speed. Actually, let's do a reroll. That still isn't that great. Planting speed, planting speed. No, that is actually worse. The helmet. Less crit chance. That should still help. Very dense. Crit damage, projectile speed. I'll take that, this one. <laughs> Echo box, apple spawn. Let's try the best experience game. Now give me tackle box. Let's go mining for a little bit. Like a magnet. Let's see, toad oil or bombs. Give me toad oil. Ah, 
how that makes sense. So we can probably buy like half of the shop out. With the sheer amount of money we have. We get a chance. Let as many as we can. Uh, I'm dead. Wow, this is sheer amount of enemies. I think we're lacking damage. And these guys are tanky as hell. That's an apple they needed. That's basically our only way of healing. Pretty sure. Oh, spider boss. Shop opened. Uh, give me a quick chance. Fuck what attack at least. Please give me bombs. And we can just buy out the shop almost completely. Yeah, Totso's gonna heavily try to kill me. Because this is a good chance up. That should help a little. That boss needs to die, so I can actually keep them away a bit easier. I think the demo's um, meta progress didn't carry over or something. I'm actually having a lot of trouble on this level. And this is the early one. Let's see, make grow faster. I'll take this. Red had a cat, but didn't show up. Damage up a knockback. Point gain of a weapon is harvested. That's kind of late. Give me damage up. Now, that bats in a single run. Give me bombs. And just start buying most of the other stuff. At least we're getting a bunch of achievements. Ooh. Just give me this the straight up amount. I don't want to see what's happening at this point, but that was up. Damage of attack frequency. No, give me attack size of crit uh, chance. I'd be kind of safe now. Because of the bunch of upgrades we got. Back size, knockback, and way more bombs. Uh, 
crops and mold day. Tax size or just damage? Give me. Oh, that's also crit uh, chance. Uh, give me damage and crit chance. Force spawn, mining yield, damage resistance. Give me the damage and resistance. We're actually getting a bunch of uh, achievements. I'm gonna get this one. Oh, we're really lacking our money. And he should be uh, murdered soon. And he spawned crop growth speed. All other spawns are up. Knockback attack frequency. I'll take this. And he is gone. Plant seeds for you. I needed that a while ago. I have a funny that he can uh, mine and uh, fish at the same time. If it's close enough. Like shield damage up, resistance up, crop growth speed is down. Enemy loot up, enemy health up. That is... This because I'm pretty sure I can't increase uh, my health. Probably also means that I can decrease my health. Now that I think about it, I think it was any changes. Also, I have no clue where I can actually see the, uh, the amount for my health. Yeah, the tar area really helps. I think it has kind of a, a knockback effect. Let's see, max health, nope. Experience gain and crit chance. Mount duration, I'll take this. Give me more, uh, bigger attack size. And we only have the tongue last sheet so on our left. Ooh. And let's buy as many as we can. I don't think it matters at this point, but... Next health. Gen, nope. It actually hurts me. Damage and knockback. So damage up and knockback down. Crit damage. Apple healing. So give me straight up uh, the straight up damage. And let's actually see if we can do some mining, if we can actually get close to the, the rocks. Well, give, uh, get 50 fish. Knock back, attack duration, resistance up, but enemy spawns up as well. Crit chance, attack size up, I'll take this. Although it was tempting, but... Just carefully move around. Oh, we got double bosses. Find all the fish in summer. Oh, there's a certain amount of types you can find. That's what he got. He also. We have to think that the more we uh, mine, the faster we mine. So, amount and tax size, I'll take this. What's the amount of attack frequency? Damage up. No negative effects. 
He doesn't need to kill these guys. Oh, let's go shopping first. Elephant. Or sell these seeds and just buy anything else. Oh, we actually bought the entire shop out. Press the tar when you need it. There we go. Watering should die as well, and do more watering. Then we also have a chance of just getting more uh, pets. Like 20 apples in the run, already at 20. That's quick. Tongue lashes, improve pick our eggs. Let's actually take this. Um, yeah, give me plus three and damage up. I'm dying. Crit chance, attack size, resistance down. No, give me to leave it. That's a pretty big uh, damage increase. It will actually run. The sound just broke. Yeah, give me more uh, crit chance. And straight up damage. And we max it out. Now we have a uh, wombo. Which is at level 50 during a run. And we win, I think. Shivo's unlocked. He's max level on bouncy ball, so we get 500 points. We got 10 pets in the Sambon run, so we unlock Mignon. Oh wait, this scrolls. His max level on bombs is 500 coins. That's a lot of coins we got. We got Summer 2 unlocked. Mine 50 ores to unlock Collier. 50 fish in the run to unlock Finn. The 48 farming plot, we got Plotty. 50 crops in the day, we got Billy Bob. And mostly just coins. And we won. So yeah, here we can change our uh, character. So we start with Joe with that has uh, health regen, tech frequency and experience gain. We'll probably just play with, uh, well, uh, just go and cycle to the next. Oh, this one that you need to lower your health by a bunch. Oh yeah, we'll probably just unlock more stuff while playing. Yeah, we can just change it. There's nothing we can do here. Oh, there's all the unlocks. Let's see what's in there. Oh, there's an entire uh, yard area. And the shed. So it doesn't look like we can do anything here yet. But this is a massive area. Wait, why did it just lock this again? Well, this hasn't been unlocked yet. So it doesn't look like we can get our meta currency. So we might need to play through a few levels to even get that unlocked. Sadly. Kind of strange. Oh well. Well yeah, that's the end of this episode, so thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.